You guys, this Melanie chick has a face like a crusty butthole, and she, um, you know, has a, that with an elongated deal in it. So that's where these rumors are coming from. You know, I've been thinking about you on past life terms because we have many together, and I just, what I want to say to you is you are so fucking irrelevant to anything. You're just so irrelevant. And Dummy. you do spend a lot of time and energy and lives fucking Dummy. with people. Me, a lot. Um, but you only do this because you don't know how to be. That's why you compete so much and you destroy so much because you are really nothing. You're pretty slovenly, you're pretty sloppy, you're pretty tired, you're pretty unoriginal. Um, you're kind of just always a puppet to others. There's a little factor of laziness. Um, you just don't amount to much as a person because you constantly live for the goals of other people uh, and in destroying them or in enterprising to take things over as opposed to becoming who you are. You take classes now in lying, you all do as a household, and you do this as a form of control, so always have distance and control of your little world, but I mean, for what? <laughs> it, ultimately, all you guys have are your little slogans and little games and little bullshits. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. There's nothing actually there. Um, and as far as this, you know, sensual household, I've actually found you guys very sloppy. You're a very sloppy household. You don't understand how to cultivate things and. You don't understand anything about aesthetic that's obvious, and it, you know, it's it's sort of all a joke. Your slogans make no sense, by the way. And, um, really, it's just sad. I do look at your page, and I do feel sad, because, you know, these girls are saying, like, oh, you know, self, um, self-imposed, uh, whatever, um, barriers between expressing pleasure and, and not. And the reason they're saying that their um, expression of pleasure is self-imposed is because they are told to get up in front of their family and their entire household and anyone else that wants to join and get fingered by their family and have an orgasm in front of everybody. And if they don't fully feel comfortable with this, then it's their fault. And this is total rape culture. Um, psychological damage. They're, they're basically saying pleasure is good, so any form of pleasure must mean you're having a good time. Anyone that's you know studied anything about rape culture knows this is a total gateway excuse into raping people, which is what it is. And so then they go, well, I had a pleasurable experience, so I guess I liked it. No, it's totally normal that you didn't want to be banged by your 109-year-old aunt. It's totally normal that that would be a self-imposed barrier to pleasure because just because he can create pleasure doesn't mean you want to actually have sex with them. There's a huge difference. So your entire thing is, is rape. It's, it's a harem full of rape, and it's claiming women's empowerment when it's anything but, and it's run by males. <laughs> so there it is. Um, it's really, it's very sad. It's very sad. So I find you all very pathetic, very... Um, dated. I don't know what kind of 70s party trip you guys all wanted to get stuck in. You still, the adults still dress like um, it's the 70s. And, you know, I don't know what fucking high school dance you were rejected from, but something went wrong that you joined a cult. So basically all you're doing, just to break it down for you, is you're justifying sex addiction, which there's no need to justify. You just own it, say that you're a sex addict. But you justify this by saying, well, because I can't, I've, I've read your members' writings, because you can't control your sexuality, your need to have orgasms three times a day, um, or, you know, and it goes on, um, you instead flip it to go, well, no, I just want it three times a day, which is fine, but it's kind of, keep in mind that it's kind of like me saying that, I don't ever get addicted to pot. I just want it. Well, I do just want it, and I can give it up, which is actually more than I can say for you, but um, the reality is there's an aspect of addiction there, too, and that does come from some place of longing and void. That's all you guys create is longing and void. So the reason that you guys are so based on pleasure-oriented and sensory-oriented things 
is because you don't know joy, because joy comes from purity and doing for others and being really at peace with yourself. And you'll never know that. So your entire group's irrelevant. I find you all horrific, dated, pathetic, and irrelevant. So please kindly fuck off, but you won't, because I'm so entirely relevant to you.